Start to I know. Hey folks, Dave here, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where today I'm going to be completing some side quests and doing a bit of role-playing along the way. After all, this is a role-playing game, right? I've been working on a Robin Hood-esque style Henry, where I am going to do my best to not only take down bandits, but also serve the poor and wretched here in medieval Bohemia. As you guys can see, I am definitely dressed for the part. Here's a quick look at my current armor setup. I have some light armor here, uh, along with some chainmail. It is the noble style, with just some slight accents. There's a look at my leg armor. And most importantly, where is it? my pointed green hat. This coif I'm wearing right here is a bit more open uh, than the ones that are tied super tight. That way the peasantry can enjoy my Robin Hood style goatee as well. For my weapons I'm going to be using a longbow with long distance arrows which tend to fly pretty flat. I enjoy using those for their accuracy as well as Longness's sword. Before we head out, I'm going to make sure that I have the best longbow possible because the first thing we're going to be doing is hunting some bandits. They're just west of Ratai at this ruin on top of the hill. God save you, Henry. Let's head in and talk to the huntsman. And to be honest, guys, my original green hat might have been stolen from the huntsman's quarters. For a long time, he was the only person that I had ever seen in-game that had the actual green pointed hat, which is required for that Robin Hood lifestyle. Don't worry, I left him some groschen as payment. Good day to you. Besides, looks like he found another one. I have an Ash longbow currently. It looks like the U longbow is going to be a little bit more powerful, and I like the darker color a bit better too. So I'm going to sell my Ash longbow. Let's get a deal on the trade in here. Can we do something about the price? Well, we can try it. Satisfied? That's a poor offer. Well, of course it is. I'm haggling. Aye, that would do it. There we go. And he still has no idea who stole his hat from his bedchamber in the dark of night. I guess good Christian Henry here isn't always quite so good. Oh yeah. I like that color of the wood much better. All right, guys, let's go hunt us some bandits. Along the way, we're going to be stopping here and there to what? give to the poor. Although that bow did cost us some, so we're just gonna do 75 for this house. Henry's come to see it. 
Henry's come to see us. God save you, Henry. <laughs> Does feel good to be a hero. Speaking of which, I do actually have the local hero perk. Your reputation is strong enough for you to get a bonus on strength, speech, agility, and vitality. I love that. I also have the buffs of when I'm outside of town. I have the savage perk because I am a man of the woods. And I get bonuses to, I believe, it's strength and agility with that savage buff. I also recently acquired the forester perk, which definitely fits the Robin Hood theme and makes me much stealthier in forests. Now this bandit camp has been marked on our map is not the only one hidden out here in the forest. And I'm pretty sure that I spotted some bandits just south of the marked camp the last time that I rode through. So before we hit the marked camp, I'm gonna ride up the river to the west and then come in from the north and see if this southern camp actually is occupied again. In order to get a bounty for these bandits, we're going to have to bring back their ears. A grim affair, but necessary to prove that justice has been dealt out for the local lord. Okay, there's the church ruins. At least I think it was a church, perhaps a small castle. And for a second, I thought this guy was one of the perimeter guards, but... He's a How civilian that I recognize from a quest. What are you doing all the way out here? It's somewhere along this ridge line. I've also swapped my armor down to be as stealthy as possible, so I'm running a lot lighter than I have been. My noise is down to 37, though. If I do get attacked by somebody with armor, I'm probably going to want to break engagement. Uh, yep, there's the camp right there. I think I see the guards heading out. Go for this first one. Taking a leak, was he? I think that bandit leader saw something. Two arms! Get over yep, here! he just drew his sword. I saw the body. Takes care of their archer. Get over here. Not sure where I am yet. Oh wow, he took it right in the chest. Alarm! You know, guys, I might poison their soup real quick. Give him the old Bane potion. Alarm! If there's a wine flask, I could poison that too. Crouching chameleon perk is handy, where if I just sit still, I'm much harder to spot. Okay, coming back to camp. I'm going to back off some. Let them have their soup. That bird is obnoxious. I don't think they saw the dead archer at all. Looks like he's sitting down to possibly eat, maybe? I'm 
armor does he have on him? Not a whole lot. Oh, an armorer's kit. <laughs> I'll take my arrow back as well. Look at that, guys. It's a nice burial spot right here. Look at them, guys. They're chowing down on that soup. Full of Bane Potion. Looks like the bandit leader is sharpening his sword while his friends eat. Sit very, very still. What cunt took my dagger? I fucking left it here ready to sharpen. Own up, you fucking bastard. You forgot where you put it again, haven't you? Fuck off! It was here just a moment ago. How many times is that now? I lost count after four. That was you, right? Hey! All of you, gather here! Raise the alarm! Okay, he's panicking for some reason. Did they just die of the poisoning? Over here! Where is everyone? They did. Quick? He dropped dead mid-conversation. To arms! Get over here! I'm gonna step out so he can see me right before I take him out. Oh, right in the shoulder blade. Oh, they're all dead. Three of them. Or two of them by poison. Then the bandit got it right in the shoulder. Guys, that was a fantastic camp takedown. That was awesome. Got one stab kill. An archery kill on the bandit leader. And a double poisoning. That is quite satisfying. I'm just going to grab the most valuable stuff that they have here. Old shirt. I think there's a crate around here somewhere, too. He's got a heavy shield, but it's not worth much. I'll take his gloves instead. Yeah. Garbage clothes. These guys are terrible bandits. <laughs> that was so great. The bandit leader watched his last two men die right in front of him, only to get shot by an arrow from <laughs> Henry, our Robin Hood hero. Okay, guys. Let me take care of my encumbrance issue here. It's time to grab Roach and get out of here. Oh, another one that went down. That was a solid run, guys. I wonder if he got poisoned too, or if that was the body that they were carrying back. I tell you what, guys. Before we go hunting the other bandit camp... I'm going to go ahead and take care of a request that was given to me by one of my friends, one of the fellow refugees from Scallets. A few weeks ago, he asked me to help gather some food to feed the refugees. What am I to do? A poor wretch whose home was burned to ashes by Sigismund's horse. How are you coping? As well as we can, Henry. You can be glad Sir Radzik took you into his service. I hear you even go hunting with Lord Capon. Ah, I've been once. And I don't think it'll be happening again anytime soon. Ah, it's a shame. Because I was going to ask a favor of you. I'm sure you know there's a lot of hungry mouths here, so I thought you might be able to help. I don't know. I'm not such a great hunter that I could feed all the refugees. No, no, that's not what I meant. It's the townspeople here who have a taste for game. They want to live like the nobility, see? A few of the burghers have been to see me already, to ask if we'd try our luck in the woods. They promised us supplies in exchange. Flour, lard, eggs, and the like. But we can't afford to take the risk of poaching. We're barely tolerated as it is. 
If one of ours got caught in the woods, they'd hang him from the nearest tree. But I was thinking, you, you're in Sir Radzik's garrison and you go hunting with Sir Hans. You could help us. Well, I got away with brawling with Laura Capon, so I don't suppose they'll string me up for a few hairs. Great, Henry. I really appreciate it. The local tailor was asking me about getting some hairs to put on a feast for a visiting merchant. All right. I'll bring you something. Thank you. You'll be saving us from starvation. After I gathered up some hairs for Alex and the rest of the refugees to get some supplies in return for those hairs, I was then asked to get some boar meat, some more difficult to find game, but definitely more valuable than just rabbits. So while I'm out here in the forest, let's go ahead and do a bit of boar hunting. While out in the far western parts of the forest, I finally found a good hunting ground for some boar. Let's go ahead and take one of them out. Okay, got one. The rest are kind of skittish, but they're not panicking too much. I'm going to not kill too many of them because that's just wasteful and I can't carry all that meat. Okay, there's some boar meat. I'm going to transfer this to my horse. That way, if I'm stopped and searched, it won't actually be on me at least. I think I've got both the boar meat and the mushrooms that Alex needed to trade for those supplies for the refugees. I'm gonna go ahead and start heading back to the city now. I thinks his wife sent an assassin after him or something. These guys don't look like a huge You'll threat, but more. I'm gonna protect the roads, so. Oh, alright, yeah, he uh. died bad. Yes, sir. This guy really should take a hint here. This. His friend died instantly. Hopefully he'll surrender. There we go. One good hit. You're not going anywhere, are you? Leave your weapon on the ground and get lost. What's to be done? That's right. Leave your ambushing days behind you. And I'll definitely take his weapon here. Probably shouldn't leave his buddy just laying in the street, but I'll take his beer either way. Ooh, fine wine. Fancy. Just a few items looted to, you know, cover my costs of armor repair and whatnot. Doing my Robin Hood duty to defend the forest. He's got a Master Huntsman sword, too. That'll help fund future expeditions. I'm just going to put his body over the bushes here. Again, don't want to alarm anybody. Just a bloody bandit right in the middle of the road. That ought to do it. Let's get back on Roach. Now that this storm is finally passing, head back to Rite and start turning in some of these quests.
It's finally time to make sure that these beggars are actually going to get their feast. I kind of feel bad that it's taking so long, but I mean, I'm trying to keep the forest safe as well, right? He's probably already out here begging, I think. You know, guys, I should probably get that boar meat and also make hey. sure that there's no guards watching. I can spare a little something. You're a good Samaritan. Thank you. Well, I want some of that praise. Here. <laughs> this guy is just <laughs> beggar. Not even a name. Where's that Grosh? Let's give him, let's give him a solid 130. There you go. Okay. Well, well, well. Oh, well that peasant just took the coin. Of course I'll give you something. <laughs> All right. Just doing our part, I guess. Boy, that boar meat is spoiling fast. I've got that game meat for you. Great. Shh, the guard's right it. behind you. Just give him the mushrooms as well as the boar meat. Thanks, Henry. We'll get lots of supplies for this. I think we'd better quit while we're ahead. The Master Huntsman has got wind that something's up and the burghers are getting nervous. But you helped us a lot, Henry. Thank you. You're welcome. Come and see me if you ever need anything else. I will. Well, that's one good deed accomplished right there. Okay, folks, that's where we're going to pause for today. In part two, we've got a bit more bandit hunting to do, and also a little bit of a sneakier Robin Hood quest that's literally titled Rob the Rich and Give to the Poor. So watch out for that in part two. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time.